In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and configure a window with a chain actuator and a locking actuator using the FlexiSmoke control panel. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the FlexiSmoke panel, a brake glass unit, manual override switch, a window chain actuator, and a locking actuator. For the chain actuator and the locking actuator to work together, they must be connected on the same motor line. For this, I've made the following connections using the junction box. The chain actuator cable is connected to the junction box on this side, also, the locking actuator is connected to the junction box on the same side. On the other side of the junction box, I have the cable that connects the two to the control panel. When making the installation on the window, make sure that the locking actuator is in the open position and that the chain of the chain actuator is a bit out as it comes from the factory. This way, it'll be easier to synchronize the two actuators. I'm now starting the configuration. First, I log into the panel with the pin code 4321. I enter the configuration menu and select a motor line. The cable for the actuators is connected on S4X1, which is a motor link module, meaning that the actuators will run in motor link mode. I let the panel discover the number of actuators by pressing the Discover button. The panel has found one chain actuator and one locking actuator connected to this motor line. We can also see that the motor line is by default associated with the motor group 1. This is all it takes to configure the motor line with the chain and locking actuators. I'll now start to commission the window. The window is now slightly open. First, I use the manual override switch to close the window. I press the close button. The chain actuator is closing. When the window has reached the fully closed position, the locking actuator begins to run and moves to closed position. If there is a problem operating the actuators for the first time, the actuator will stop and reverse. In order to fix this error, you need to open it a little bit, like this. And then close again. You might have to do this a couple of times until the window is fully closed. In the View All Details menu, motor line S4X1, we can see the status of the motor line. Now we see that the window is closed and locked. I start to open the window and the status changes from locked to moving. The chain actuator is still closed for a while until the locking actuator reaches a fully open position. When the chain actuator begins to run, the closed status is off. If I press stop, the window is not moving anymore. I close the window and we see that the moving status is on because the window is running towards closing. When it reached closing, 
the closed status is highlighted, meaning that the window is closed but not yet locked. The locking actuator is running to get the window to a locked state.